What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking all about this thing here, which is the Easy Rig Vario 5. Now this is a camera system that takes the weight of these heavier cameras off your arms when you're doing handheld work and distributes that weight onto your waist. That's essentially all it does. A lot of people have the misconception that this Easy Rig stabilizes the footage. Now it does in some respects, which we'll look at once we get the camera all rigged up, but essentially all it is doing is just distributing that weight onto your waist so that it frees your arms up to be able to control the camera in a really nice way. It's not rocket science when it comes to putting it on. Essentially all you're doing is just putting it on like a camping backpack. So all you wanna do is loosen up all of the straps and then hold the top here and just slide it on. It's nice to be able to hold it as you're putting it on because this does swing around and you can hit things. The first thing that you wanna do is make sure that these shoulder straps are nice and loose. So you want it sitting quite low onto your waist. And then what you wanna do is just tie the waist strap up and make sure that that is nice and snug on your waist. So at the moment, all of the weight is on my waist. You can see I've taken the shoulder straps off and it's still supporting the easy rig right. Then you wanna tighten these shoulder straps down and then under the arm, there's also another strap which you can tighten. And lastly, we're going to put this top strap on. So now that we have all the straps on, we essentially just wanna check that it's nice and snug. So I'm gonna pull down here on this arm right now. And if I pull down quite tight and there's no movement in the waist down here on the Easy Rig, then it's nice and snug. So this is the Easy Rig all set up. Essentially what we have is a boom arm that swings out in front of your head. Now this boom arm here can be raised or lowered depending on the type of work that you wanna be doing. I like to have it quite close to my head because um, I am 6'3", and I find that this height is plenty high enough for the majority of shots that I want. Um, but if you're a shorter person, you can definitely raise this up. The other thing is having this boom arm close to the head when I'm moving in and out of doorways and walking around tight spaces, I'm much more aware of where this is in relation to my head, so I'm less likely to catch it on things. So we have the boom arm, and then obviously we have this piece here that connects to the camera directly. Now when you order your Easy Rig, you can get a whole lot of different attachments for the camera. We've opted for the quick release ball joint, and essentially you just have a ball joint attachment, and this ball joint can attach to your camera or different types of equipment and this simply just quick releases straight into there so quick release really simple if I want to release it I just pull here and that detaches beautifully just like that now on this quick release ball joint we have what we call a frog hook and this frog hook is what we use to attach to the eye hooks on the camera so that goes in there and then simply we open up the frog hook this pulls down and this will attach directly onto the camera. What I also have on the camera is a second eye hook, but then I also have a D-ring here, which is on a safety harness. So worst case scenario, if the camera falls off or this separates and breaks off, then this safety is going to hold the weight of the camera. Now I don't see a lot of people using uh, the safety strap on the Easy Rig. 
Um, I like to use it because of the type of work that we do. We do a lot of outdoors stuff, um, a lot of vehicles, a lot of boats, all that sort of stuff. And if I'm shooting off the side of a boat, down at the water, the last thing that I want to happen is one of the hooks to break off and I lose the whole rig. Now when setting up the camera, basically what you want to do is make sure that it's nice and balanced. So we want the tilt and the roll of the camera to be perfectly centered so that we don't want to be putting any weight into the camera with our hands. So if we take our hands off and let it just hang, we want the natural weight of the camera to be nice and balanced. Oftentimes when it's not balanced properly, all of the shots might be slightly rolled to one side. And that just creates extra work in post to correct that. So make sure that it's nice and balanced. And because we have a nice and balanced starting point with the camera, every time we put energy into this rig with our hands, we're intentionally doing it to control the shot and the angle that we want with the camera. Everyone likes to rig their cameras out differently when it comes to the easy rig. But essentially I've just left it quite open. I've got this side handle here where I can hold it as a shotgun at waist height. But I also can simply just hold the battery here or hold the top if I want to control the rig left and right. Now I should be able to control the camera in any angle that I want just with one hand. And that frees up this left hand to pull focus now if the camera is at maximum height all the way up here, I like to hold it underneath to control the movement of the camera. But likewise, I could also just grab the grip up here if I need to get a tilt. So there's lots of different ways you can hold the camera and the more you build out your own camera, you'll get the feel for where it's comfortable. Some people like to put an extension arm here and have a, like a pistol grip up here to control the movement of the camera. But the main thing is that you just rig it out so that you're comfortable and the types of shots that you want to capture are nice and simple with the way you've built out your camera. The one thing I will mention about this rig and the reason we went for the eye hooks and the frog hook connection is that it allows the tilt of the camera, so up and down, to tilt really smoothly because it's simply just rolling on the eye hook there. And the other thing that you can also do quickly with this setup because of the two eye hooks is grab the main line here, open up the frog hook and then connect it to the back eye hook. And then we're just gonna grab our safety and put it on the front. And now I have a camera that's weighted to be tilted down. So it's naturally tilting down, which allows me to get all of those shots looking down without having to overly strain the camera. So you can see nice, easy tilt down Particularly like if you're looking down at a subject or if someone's doing some work with their hands, it's nice to jump up around them and just get some angles like this. Okay, so this is the basic easy rig setup with the Ursa G2. I can tell you now that this is really comfortable. I'm not having to strain at all holding this camera. I've got a lot of movement um, and a lot of flexibility in terms of where I can point this camera. It's really comfortable on my back. There's no like niggles or anything. So I can say at the end of the day, my back and my shoulders are really fresh. Where you will feel it eventually is your legs, obviously because your legs are actually carrying the extra weight. But at the end of a long day, I'd rather feel it in my legs than in my back. So the Easy Rig is definitely a great investment for your career. If you're a camera operator shooting long days um, and wanting to protect your back. One thing that I do love about using the Easy Rig on a long shoot day is all of these extra pockets that you have. For example, I've got some spare batteries here in this pocket. I've got my phone in this pocket. You could have a cool sheet or just a bunch of snacks, bunch of tools for the camera, all sorts of things, especially if you're moving around for a documentary style shoot, which we do a lot of. Um, this is just a really great system to have you set for the whole day. I can walk around a big facility just holding the camera like this and I'm more than comfortable having this set up for a three to four hour period. All right, so let's go back to the idea that the Easy Rig is actually a camera stabilizer. It's not a stabilizer because there's no active motors combating the camera shake. But the thing that the Easy Rig allows you to do is attach really heavy camera rigs. And by nature, those heavy camera rigs have this pendulum type effect. And so all of the micro jitters that you'll find in a lot of lighter handheld camera work 
is the fact that the shake from your hands is introduced into the camera, but you don't really get that with an easy rig and a heavy camera. This is the Easy Rig Vario 5, and this is for camera packages between 7 and 15 kilograms. Um, if you have a lighter camera, there is an Easy Rig Mini Max. I personally owned the Mini Max, um, but I sold it soon after I bought it just because of the weight limitations. So if you can afford it from the get go, I'd definitely recommend the Easy Rig Vario 5 um, just because it's a much more robust setup. We've had this set up for about two years now and I can honestly tell you we've used it every single week that we've had it and it's never let us down once. Everything on it feels really strong and sturdy. The stitching on the unit and everything that goes with it feels really high end and high quality. So highly recommend it for any type of handheld cinema work, particularly for run and gun doco style work. Please let me know what you thought of this video and I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you'd like to see more. For now, we'll see you in the next one.